Hi, my name is Shahid Bashir and in this video, I will tell you how to write a good research scope. The scope of study generally refers to the parameters under which the study will operate. The researchers must ensure that the research problem fits within certain parameters. Moreover, the researchers must clarify what parameters are within the acceptable range of study so what you need is the research problem okay we will get this research problem from there okay and uh, the research purpose which was there okay just seeing this i will define the parameters so why it is so this is the sample research scope what i have written so it is specifically clarifying the parameters of the study so starting with it based on the nature of this study a quantitative empirical study was conducted in malaysian e-business industry for several reasons so here i must say that whatever we will be conducting so there has to be a proper reasons behind this so now what parameters i have defined that this will be a quantitative study one parameter is there and uh, Malaysian e-business industry is selected so there has to be a proper reason behind this so first Malaysia is far behind in comparison to growth benchmark in e-business such as blah 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 second uh, the e-business growth is low due to Malaysian consumers lack of trust in online purchase as compared to offline purchase and finally the malaysian consumers online buying potential is not fully understood by the local web vendors in terms of utilizing industrial growth so my first parameter what i have used so there are three different reasons behind so other than this the malaysian residents who are sorry the malaysian residents who are the current users of both internet and shopping products are surveys as the respondents because again there is a reason they have significant information required for the study so moreover the target population in large part be covered by the sampling frame consists of Facebook account holders with an interest of online shopping between this age group and having at least high school level education. This frame is not found to be decided by someone else before the data were available to conduct this study. So the data was gathered during the period of blah blah blah. The reasons of this study scopes are discussed in more detail in chapter 3. So if there is any sort of information that anybody found missing, so this is discussed more in the chapter 3. Means uh, what, what I said, the chapter 3 is usually about the research methodology so here okay now see this research purpose again so now what i will say i will draw okay like this okay make it in the middle so now they say that uh, Examine the mediating role of trust in the relationship between perceived risk and online purchase intentions. So, to examine this, this is obvious that somebody who is a consumer 
can be the main target population of the study however as per the set parameters this industry is more specified to e-business now this will say general consumers so the first parameter that is defined will specify business consumers now moreover within this another parameter is defined what we can name as e-business consumers and uh, then that the current users okay okay then Facebook account holders then more further It's Facebook Facebook account holders. So now this is a very good interpretation of a research scope. So what I want to tell here is that under my resources of research, what I will be conducting will be precisely and I would say this area of study so now this is where the parameters are defined so now why I'm doing this because my resources to complete this research are not 
not enough on universal basis so what i did i specify my resources and tell the people that i want to address this research statement rather than to solve all the problem on universal basis so i hope you got the point and hope it is much more specified to you and uh, furthermore we will discuss this in more detail and specifically uh, when we will be discussing uh, the contents of research methodology so these things will be elaborated more clearly thank you very much thanks for watching